If you are ready to tour the coolest kennel I've ever seen, hang tight because we're about to tour the home of Destiny's Chihuahuas. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss one moment of the fun. This weekend I'm headed to Lawrenceville, Georgia by way of Anderson, South Carolina. I know, kind of out there. But I'm going to go hang with my friend Alana Bose at her house for a couple days. Then together we're going to head over to the shows. Four days of a fabulous fun. I've known Lana for a good God, well over 10 years. She is a force to be reckoned with in the world of Chihuahuas. And here we go. She's a force to be reckoned with in the world in general. To know Lana is to love Lana. She tells it like it is in every aspect of her life. Good morning. There, there she is. Hi. There's my girl. Hi, guys. Of course they did. As a true friend should. Not only did she greet me with a smile, but also a cup of coffee before we got to work. I want to know what her cup says. <laughs> <laughs> with a random hashtag just floating. Because. What, what it used to say, you mean? What it, yeah. What it. It used to say something. I don't even remember. Something about a, this, like to pretend that this makes me less a bitch. I don't even. What is this? It's just like a random. I don't know, maybe it was an egg. Oh, whoops. They do kind of, whoops, whoops. All right, so this is what we do every morning for the dogs. I wake up, they're all out in their runs. We let them go out for a couple, for, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour in the morning. We pick up poop. This is the nitty gritty. <laughs> this is it. This is this the behind is the it. scenes. Behind the scenes of the, the best real, kennel I've ever seen in my entire life. The real work. The real work. Going in. Right. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh boy. These are our outdoor runs. We let about eight in each together. This is the home of Destiny Chihuahuas. Yay! Lana started her Chihuahua program over 12 years ago back in Florida. Three years ago, she moved to South Carolina. Moving to South Carolina gave her the opportunity to build the kennel of her dreams, where her Chihuahuas can be happy, healthy, and live the most luxurious life she can provide for them. She made her setup pretty easy for her and her family to be able to maintain and tend to the dogs in her program. She has six inside play areas, custom designed by Susan Myers of Welp and Grow. I'll put the link down below for you. In each of the runs, she keeps two to three dogs, allowing her to house up to 18 dogs total at max in the kennel. And then we go inside and we do the dirty work. All right, sanitize, sanitize first. Woo Glove up first thing in the morning. Loving it. Okay. We're picking up poop. Picking up Each play area has a waterproof outdoor pet pillow. Flooring is covered in an epoxy coated flooring for easy cleanup and each area also contains a litter box, which is how all of her dogs are trained to potty. How cool is that? Outside, there are two decked areas stained with Sherman's waterproofing. One side is for the boys and the other is for the girls. She had the planks spaced just far enough so that she can spray it down and wash messes between the panels. Pretty darn smart, I tell ya. In the structure, there are cabinets that store her medical supplies as well as cleaning supplies, and she also has a mini refrigerator for meds and for dog food. There is a large bank of kennels that she uses to feed her adult dogs, and then portable crates geared up and ready to go for those dogs that are on the road and showing. She uses these to train her puppies for feeding and travel as well. Of course, what kennel would not be complete without a wall showcasing all of your fantastic wins and colorful ribbons? This is a family affair with everyone pitching in and doing their part. Everyone is kept up to date on who is in season, who should be bred, who shouldn't be bred, as well as who needs meds. They have this awesome little board that they use and keep as current as possible. 
put some of our wind photos up here. We're still working on that. This is where our young dogs eat. The littler ones usually show dogs in training over here. We got our beds and our treats and our toys and our outfits for the winter time. Because you need outfits for the winter time. <laughs> this is where we do our grooming, our blow dryers right here. We've been out for a few minutes. I gotta go pick up poop. So while she's cleaning up poop, I will give you a little sneak peek as to what's coming up next. Two and a half days visiting Lana will not fit in one episode. So yeah, we're going to have to split this up. Part two is definitely going to enlighten you all on what a day in the life of Jen and Lana contain. Until then, enjoy your sneak peek and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss one moment of the fun. I think we should get... Pedicures? Yeah. Manicures? Yeah. Manicures. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get my nails done yeah. too. Yeah. Lunch. Yeah. Mar margaritas. Yeah. Carbs. Of course. Okay. Mexican. Mm -hmm.